Hey, we had a bunch of uh, questions around Compass and alternative marks. So I thought I'd throw this quick video to find out stuff that I did learn. Um, so I'm going to pop in first. Uh, I am in as board admin probably, and I've switched to All Saints. And I'm going to go into Student Tracker. So we've all seen Student Tracker, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to go into the automated Student Tracker so we can use the filtering and not the manual ones. The manual one you can use and you have to set up the group once you find it and add it and then create it uh, on the students with check boxes. So I'm popping into the automatic one. So it automatically tracks this group if you actually create a group out of it. But otherwise we can do research in here. So now we're in, I'm picking on All Saints. Um, I'm in an old version, a bunch of the data is anonymized in here too. But I'm going to choose All Saints Intermediate to give us some elementary view. And I'm going to choose All Saints High School to give us a uh, high school view as well. And I'm going to apply those filters because you always have to apply them. So there's my All Saints gang. Now, I want to filter these a little bit based on marks. So there's two places to do this. So if you go into elementary report card, um, we're going to hit the seven and eights then, and I'm going to choose my latest marks, which would be that they have in here, which is 1920 final. I wonder what my other one is. Anyway, I'll go with 1920 final. And you actually have to choose a strand if you're going to use this. And oh, 1920, that's because I'm using an old data set. That's why it's, it's wonky, because uh, I am not using live. L M. So I was going to choose mathematics. Now in the new one, you'll see mathematics. So hopefully we have something under this one to actually show you. But you'll see the key thing is, oh, I've been looking for I and R. And I want to apply the filters. And let's see if anything pops up. And hopefully, because this isn't our full data set and it's not up to date, so hopefully it, it does pop up. It's still loading, so we're going to wait a sec. So we got a bunch across 7 and 8 that have that. So here's what showed up. If you want to take a look at the kids, and you can, of course, download this or make a tracking group, but you can go here and open this child, and by I suggest right-clicking on it so that you can you get the option to open it in a new tab. And then you can take a look at the marks that were given. Uh, and I'll show you that how to do that real quick. So I'm going to bring up the student. And I'm going to go into tabular here, which is the second tab. Um, we'll try that again. Tabular. Give it a sec to load all the marks. And then you'll see all the historical marks. And you can see the eyes that have come up here. So you can track that. There's lots of, you get all the data, you know, by clicking any of these by looking at that student again. Now, if you had not clicked a new window and tried to go back, it messes up nicely. So I don't recommend you do that. But now I can just get rid of that student and I can go back where I was. All right, so I am gonna go and clean, I'm gonna reset these. That was elementary, don't forget. And I'm gonna reset that, okay. It doesn't like me when I do that. I already reset and I don't have to apply. And you can see I've got some of the stuff up here still. I'm gonna that I'm gonna re, just take that one off. So I get rid of that filter. Now I'm gonna focus on high school. So that means I gotta look at not elementary but secondary. So if I go into secondary achievement, and I'm gonna check our 2021. We have some data there, and I'm gonna go down further, and I'm going to choose a grade. Um, Let's say I don't have to choose a grade. Now I've done, I can't unchoose it, can I? No. So I'm choosing a grade, but in here I'm going to put zero and I'm going to put 10. And I'm going to apply. If I do that, I only get one with a zero, but it will pick up. Let me try uh, nine. We'll apply. Okay, we get more. So now you see zeros in here. Oh, this may be old too. And if you do this, you'll pick up all the alt marks, everything, all the K courses, everything will come out of this. So 
if you do this in, uh, in the new production version, you'll see more than just zeros. Um, so again, the zeros, is it a zero? I don't know. Let's go check because that's a numerical representation and the actual production has a better version than this. So I'm going to pop into here because I'm not in our production version and we'll check out this child again. And I'm going to go into, uh, I'm waiting for it to finish. And we'll go into tabular to see what the marks actually are. Um, and you can see the zero actually maps to a blank. So you can look at some of this. Okay. So that's it. That's a way for you to check some of the alt marks. There were lots of questions on it. So I want to shoot you a quick video to show you how to do that for elementary and secondary. Hope that helps.